try and get this trike down he shouldn't be too hard oh my god oh god he's like right on my face oh okay this is a bad idea i forgot how fast they are so today we're going to be working on another pen we're going to be working on the giant herbivore pen i've been talking about building uh it's essentially just gonna have tons and tons of herbivores in it so far uh we have parasaurs um we have what else we have we have galleys we have a couple xenoceratops and i want to tame some trikes and some stegos for it as well and then we might just chuck in a bunch of like miscellaneous kind of smaller uh herbivores in there as well but i wanted to show you guys the dillo enclosure because like i said i completely redid it oh i just realized i still have a galley on my hot bar there did i bring my pteranodon oh my god i didn't i might have to go back for him we'll see but um yeah i completely redid the uh dilophosaur monolophosaur and cryolophosaur uh pen right here it's much bigger now and i like it a lot more something big like this that's almost kind of like a ride so you come in here um on your gyro ball i'll probably make like a couple little gyro ball stations around the place let me through there we go sweet uh so you'll come in this side and you'll like ride through and we've got the bamboo just completely surrounding the fence so it looks semi-natural uh, and then we've got just tons and tons of stuff around but there's also quite open areas uh, this is one thing that i worked on that i love i made like a little cave by just placing a bunch of rocks into each other and um yeah i think that looks really cool actually i think um if i could make something like much bigger than this we could put like megalosaurs or something in there i think that would be great but um yeah we just made like a little cave there uh then we've got you know we've got all the cryolophosaurs in here as well now um we've got the dino leash on like a high range so they can kind of go quite like a, a good bit around this area uh, they can't go right up to the fence but that's okay and um yeah i don't know i think i i like it a lot more obviously like it uh it's looking pretty good <laughs> so um yeah what do you guys think about this uh, let me know down below um i actually like this as well even though it's like looks very simple and i i don't know why it just looks really nice with the rocks like that uh so let's head out this way we need to get, try and see if we can get these gates on automatic actually is that a thing i don't think that's an option for them uh no i don't think they do an automatic damn it that would be great all right well anyway so i want to build the herbivore pen now i'm not exactly sure where i want to be building it because it's going to be gigantic and we're also going to be using some of these structures i think this the mod that this is from is like jurassic park or jurassic arc uh so there's jurassic park structures which is one mod and then jurassic arc I think is the one that has these oh those are facing the opposite ways uh so it's essentially just like an electrical fence with like glass on it as well which is really cool uh if you power this uh, it actually makes like a kind of a buzzing noise but i don't know if i want that because it's kind of annoying to listen to so yeah let's go ahead and just pick some of these up um and i don't know if it actually like zaps creatures if they try to attack the fence that would be cool if that was a thing huh i wonder if that is a thing i have no clue anyway uh we've also got our um our aviary over here so like we have the two relatively large pens quite close to each other i was thinking maybe like this giant open area oh my god that's like a crap ton of galleys look at that <laughs> there's so many uh but yeah this like a giant area here could probably do it but i don't know if i want to exactly build it here because I feel like we'll have a couple creatures spawning inside, and if they spawn inside the pen, they will most certainly eat all of my creatures. Also, it's kind of weird to have, like, runes inside of it, but I guess that wouldn't be the weirdest thing. I, I kind of think it's a little weird, but maybe it's not that weird. All right, well, um, let's quickly just, like, deal with everything here first. So we're going to put away the cryo. Not the cryo. We're oh, wait, no, we can't put you away. You have all the stuff. All right, I guess I'm going to just park you over here. It's not the cryopod or the cryosphere. It is the gyrosphere. Um, let's go ahead and grab this. We got our Ultimasaur. Boom. We actually... Oh, you know what? That video went out today, but I haven't checked out the comments just yet. So I'll, uh, I'll pull a name from that at some point. But I assume I'll probably have a name by now. So it's probably not best to suggest more. Um, but you can if you want. Maybe we could change it if there's something amazing. Uh, anyway, all right. Well, it looks like the raptors are clearing up the galleys, but I still want to get in here and, and kill pretty much everything else. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's so many of them. Oh, wow. I do so much damage to them. Why did I do that much? Why do I do, like, extreme amounts of damage to galleys? That doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't know why that's a thing. Uh, we've got some sauropods over here to deal with, and we've got a parasaur. 
Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention, I think, at least. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It really does help me out. I do appreciate it. And, um, yeah, honestly, like, <laughs> really enjoyed this Jurassic stuff. It's been a really great series so far for me, especially, because... I don't know why. I'm just having a really great time just putting together this little park and taming all these crazy creatures. Even though I've played some of this before, it's still fun to play it again. All right. Am I going to get stomped on here? Hopefully not. Okay. It looks like I'm kind of stunning him or something. Boom. All righty. Come on, you stupid Brontos or Brackies even. Um, actually, one thing I, I learned from my comment section is that the Ultimasaur actually can wear the uh the tech rec saddle so i gotta try that out at some point oh he hit me damn it all right whatever we're just gonna get in here and start hitting them because they hit me got a broken leg for like two minutes here come on you stupid things these things have so much help that was a 180. <laughs> oh god why do i keep killing 180s god damn it <laughs> It's okay. I mean, you know, that we'll get a different one. I'll get a 180 at some point of a Bracky. To be honest, uh, the Brackies won't be going inside of this pen, um, mainly because I want to use a higher fence with the Brackies. You see, the fence, I don't have them. Oh, I do have them on me. The fence that I have here is like the small version, and then there's the behemoth version. I want to use these for this pen, um, but eventually we'll make like the larger pen, and we'll have to use the behemoth ones because the Brackies probably could just stomp on the the little things i have here like they definitely wouldn't work so um oh my dude with his broken leg is super annoying so yeah i guess we won't be um <laughs> we won't be putting brackies in with everything else let's see we have some dna right yeah just a little bit lovely all righty so um yeah this is a nice open area this could work this could work uh I might have to go ahead and start destroying some rocks, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's a snake somewhere here. Where are they? Because I would really like to get their DNA. I don't see them. They're so hard to see. You could just hear them. Oh, I think they might be back here. No, I can't see or hear them anymore. All right, great. Whatever. They're somewhere there. <laughs> Stupid snakes. They just sit there. They don't move at all. They don't come after you. So whenever you're running by them, you just hear the noise. And wherever you heard that is where they roughly are, I guess. Um, all right. Well, I don't want to build it too close to the uh, the pterosaur aviary. Hmm. Where do we want to build it then? I might have just a little bit of a think about that. Um, and I'm probably going to have to grab my pteranodon so I can just see the sky here. So, yeah, we'll be back in just a little bit once I've figured that out. Okay, so I think I've sorted it out. Basically, what I did was uh, I'm going to just kind of line it up exactly with my aviary here. So I just placed two triangle foundations and put a ladder right there to get it right in the center. And um, we're just going to run out just a little bit. Not too far, though, because I was thinking we could do like a little pathway up to the aviary area. And then you could check out here and then also check out the herbivore um, enclosure. So maybe like right around here would be good. Boom. All right. So these don't snap onto these. Uh, unfortunately, they don't at all. Um, and I think obviously it's because they're not in the same mod. Let's see. Is there a way that I could kind of line that up well, though? I guess I could kind of like bring it right up to the side here. Just kind of put the camera right there. And yeah, I guess that's going to have to work. Boom. And then if we just kind of like walk another one over here. We should be able to kind of, let's see, is that, yeah, yeah, that's good enough. Whatever. Boom. Are those facing the same way? They are. And the electric part is on the inside, which is what you want, I think. I think, yeah, no, that would be what you want, because you don't want them to break the glass and then get to the to the electric wires. You want them to walk up and realize, hey, I don't want to freaking touch that at all. So I think that's good. I think that's good. Um, let's go ahead and just add on this little gate here then. Boom. Alrighty. So now we're just going to bring this out by a good amount. I don't really know exactly how big I want this. Oh, why do you snap differently? Why do you do that? Huh? No, snap the other way. Why is the wire on the outside now? That doesn't make any sense. Why do I even have to change that? <laughs> All right, great. So I got to change it every single time I want to place one. Um, the good part about these is that they actually snap at different angles, which is nice. But 
I don't know. Uh, oh, by the way, I don't know what sign I want to use uh, with this enclosure. Actually, I noticed something. It has blue on one side and white on the other. I'm not sure if the other ones are kind of like that. But, um, yeah, it's just something I noticed with that one. Let's see. Uh, let's grab some more of these. We're going to probably need, like, a good amount to just try to get the front section done. Um, but, yeah, what was I saying? I don't know exactly how big I want this whole thing to be. I would think that, I don't know, maybe, like, bring it right around those ruins, but that would be a lot of walls. So I don't exactly know. Um, let's go ahead and just bring it out by two more. And then let's start angling it in here. The, yeah, that angle there actually doesn't look too bad. Huh. Yeah, it uh, definitely works. It doesn't, doesn't look terrible. Let's see. Boom. Let's put a good few here. And then we should have enough room here for like a pathway in. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. So we did like five there. Okay, cool. Let's uh, start angling it back this way now. All right. Okay, yeah, no, that's going to work out really well. I'm probably going to roughly do it on the, on the other side over here. I might have to break some of those rocks because those might be in the way. But, yeah, just in general, this is going to look really cool, actually. And having it right beside this other pen is really nice as well because you're going to just able to, you're gonna be able to just come over here and then you got, like, this thing to check out and you got this one as well. It's really nice. All right, well, this is basically just wall placing, so I'll be back in a little bit when it's more done. Why is that placing... Why? Wait, what? Hang on, what? Why is there like a massive gap? Was there a massive gap on all of them? What the hell? Why is there a massive gap now? That doesn't make any sense. Wait, what? Why is there even a gap? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm confused here. Like, why is there a gap? There's no gap on these ones. They like snap into each other. What the hell is this crap? Seriously? Why? <laughs> Wait, are they all like that? Oh my god. I see what's happening. I see what's happening. If I go ahead and remove this, let me test this out. Yeah, this is totally gonna... Oh yeah, no. Why, why, why would you... Oh my... Why would they make it like that? That doesn't make any sense. Look at that. Do you, do you understand what's happening here? If you snap onto the right side, you get a gap. If you snap onto the left side, you don't get a gap. That is... That is so stupid. <laughs> that is so, so stupid. Oh, that is really dumb. I don't like that. Like, why, why is that an issue? There's probably no way I could fix that besides just going all the way around the other way and then looping it back. But that's not going to work out well. Ugh. Yeah, no, that's a pain. That is an absolute pain. Why is it like that? <laughs> oh, that is super annoying. Well, I'm glad I did this side first because then, I mean, this looks nicer instead of having gaps. Having gaps doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But, um, yeah. All right, well, we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so we've got the whole pen done. Um, I thought it'd be a little bit bigger, but I had to kind of cut through here instead of going over more because that terrain starts to slope up a bit and the fences are kind of going into the ground a little bit um so this issue that i had over here um i just had to kind of leave it like that because trying to link this side up to that side really wasn't gonna work out very well so we kind of have a little bit of a messed up fence here but it's fine i mean it's at least it's not on this side too that's the only thing uh so that's okay anyway Let's go ahead and just quickly chuck out all of our creatures here. Um, let's get you in here. Sweet. Are you guys all locked to this as well? I think they are. Yeah, they seem to be. All right. That, well, that's really cool, actually. Like, there's a lot of movement in here so far. I mean, I kind of wish that the galleys wouldn't just sit right by the fence, but that's okay. Um, hopefully, they can't phase through that just tiny little bit that they have where the, um, the ring kind of goes out of the fence slightly. But they are all on wander. I just don't know why they're not wandering. You are on wander, right? Yeah. Huh. They just want to look out this way. They want to be free. Oh, my God. I just realized it. They are depressed. We got to make our dinos happy. We got to start putting some stuff in here. So, let's see. Let's get a couple, like, logs around the area. Just kind of some of the bigger stuff for the moment. Um, and then we can try to, like, decorate with some other stuff after. Let's put that there, and I want to maybe get... Oh, I actually have a full-on, like, redwoods tree here. 
Um, did I already place that? No, here it is. Okay. Boom. So this is apparently a medium one. Even though that's gigantic, I feel like I'm going to need quite a few of those around this area to really make it seem natural. Uh, for now, I'm going to just remove that because it just looks weird. Uh, let's add some big things over here. We're going to add some rocks and stuff after as well. There's the vipers. There they are. Okay, I do have my Ultima Sword here. We got to take these things out. Because if I don't, then they potentially could start eating some of my creatures in here. Boom. Let's grab those. Sweet. And you go in your ball. All right. So maybe a log or a, not a log, a tree trunk there. Another one here. It'd be cool if I could kind of like put this up on top of that, but I don't think I can. Let's put that like right there. All right. Nice. It is kind of getting a little bit dark. Um, I think, by the way, it's really weird. There's like obsidian nodes like sitting on top of these rocks. It looks really strange. Um, I think maybe I'll get a couple of those little redwood trees and we might put those in the very center of the area. So like right around here, maybe we'll put like four or five of them around and just kind of like make like a little area. Maybe put like a, a log or a tree trunk right beside one. Yeah, that that kind of looks good. Not bad. We need a couple more of those though, for sure. That is the medium one. There is also the large one as well. So I'm going to have to get a few of those. But um, yeah, we got a little bit of work to do here and then we will be back. Okay, so I want to quickly just tame up a few herbivores here because I feel like we have a lot in there, but we're going to need just a few more. Uh, so I want trikes, stegos, and maybe we'll even tame up some of these ankies as well. So let's try and get this trike down. He shouldn't be too hard. Oh my god. Oh god, he's like right on my face. Oh, okay. This is a bad idea. I forgot how fast they are. Ah, okay. <laughs> let's go over here. We're going to be good. We'll just turn around. Blast him with a couple more darts. Oh my god, he's so fast. They are so fast in this mod. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, are we okay? No, he's still coming for me. Ooh. <laughs> that was dumb. I forgot how fast they were. I feel like because they're so fast, I might have to use these instead. Just to knock them out quicker. Where did he go? Oh okay, look, he's going into the pen. He wants to be part of it. I'll show you I'll show you the progress and everything in there in just a minute, but uh Let's try and get this stupid trike down. No. Okay, you know what? This is what you get then. This is what you get. I have to waste one of these extremely amazing bullets and super expensive bullets on you. There we go. Oh, we got a couple stegos over here too. Nice. Uh, Where's my guy? Okay, let's get him. Come on. Okay, there you go. Let's go. Uh, Let's try and knock out some more of these creatures. Um, I'm not going to tame the Taurosaurus because I don't want to have to go back and get myself some... Um, What do they take again? Bug repellent. Yeah, they take that because they're based off of a packy. Boom. Oh, crap. That didn't kill him. Okay, hang on. Oh, he's running. Okay, that's that's a good sign. That's good. Uh, he's going to continue running. Okay, he's dead. Amazing. Uh, should we tame up? Uh, we probably have enough, actually, of the Xenoceratops. Boom. That's what you get. All right. Let's knock out this Stego over here. Um, and then we can go back and try to feed that trike. Uh, we got a couple raptors over there. Don't want to deal with them. Let's see. And zap. Are you going to be down? Huh? No? Okay. Two of them. There you go. Nice. All right. I don't know how many kibble you're going to take. Let's just let them starve just a little bit so I don't have to waste uh, or potentially waste kibble on them. Let's see. We got an Anki over there, but we've also got a few over this side as well. Uh, we've got two of them right here. Let's. You know what? Let me just get you to land and just leave you here. There we go. All right. So we've got two Ankies. What level are you? 72. All right. Here we go. Boom. One amazing bullet. Two amazing. Okay. He's down. <laughs> All right. Come here. Uh, you know what? Again, I'm going to wait on the feed. Okay. He's, he's down as well. And we've got another one over here somewhere, right? Where did it go? There it is. It's hiding. All right, let's see. You know what? Maybe let's tame one of these weird horse-looking things. I don't even know what to call that. It's like a weird giraffe horse dude. And we don't have any of these either. Okay, he's down. It didn't look like he was down. All right, come on. Oh, okay. Let me go over this side then. Level you. Level 60. Oh, you're going to take more than that, eh? I'll give you one of these then. No, you need two. Three. Okay, he's... 
potentially going down. He's down. Amazing. All right, so we've knocked out just a crap ton of herbivores here. Um, let's go through them in the order that we knock them out and just see if they're going to start eating. Okay, so you're going to need four then in total. And are you going to eat that last one? I think he's probably... Yeah, he's very, very close to eating it, actually. All right. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. I'm just going to leave you there, buddy. We got to get more trikes, though. Um, I don't see any more around this area, so I'm going to have to look elsewhere. But I figured, you know, there's a ton of creatures here. I might as well just go through and tame them all. Uh, how many are you going to take there, bud? Oh, you're going to take five. How many did I give him already? Okay, no, he's... Give me one of those back. All right, are we good? You going to eat up soon? Yeah, pretty soon. All right, so we've got... Uh, oh, ho, 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 those raptors think that they could just go ahead and claim my little guy over there well i got news for you raptors that is my anki and i intend on i intend on keeping that anki so you just stay away boom that's what you get you gotta be rude and steal my stuff well that's what you get you become mush all right let's go ahead and take its dna um i need water I do have my canteen. Okay, that's good. Let's see. How many is it going to take for you? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, he's only a level 18. That makes sense. All right. I think we knocked out this Anki over here next. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Come on. What are you going to take? Let's put in five to begin with. And you're going to need uh, three. So I take two back. Sweet. All right, we knocked out that weird, ugly horse thing over here. There he is. He is still down. I think that they actually wake up quick, so I might be needing to knock him out once more. Oh, yeah. No, he's going to wake up pretty soon if I don't feed him. Okay, you're going to take five. Wow, you're so greedy for, like, a useless little horse. Okay. Cool. And, oh, you know what, Stego? You, get, you just stay right there. We're good. Um, I thought I saw another Packy over there. So, I gotta go check that out. Um, you're probably gonna take, like, two. Maybe. Yeah, two. Alright, and then you're gonna take... How many? Let's pop in five to begin with. Oh my god, he's only gonna take two. Don't you dare eat those. No, no. Haha. Okay, success. Alright. Oh, you know what? I gotta remember. I gotta remember. <laughs> we gotta switch our ammo. Because I've done that before. You know, you just, you think you're going to shoot them with the trank, but next minute they're dead. Uh, let's see. And you're down. Amazing. Uh, what level was that one back there? I think he was like a, a one. Okay. You know, this one's only going to take like one, I think. Yeah. I feel like we're, we're pretty good. Just leaving one on that one right there. Uh, I think I fed all these guys, right? Oh, there we go. Nice. They're all waking up now. Uh, let's get them away for the moment. Boom. Uh, nothing left there. And you, oh man, this thing doesn't have amazing range on it, but it's still pretty, pretty amazing. Anyway, um, let's see. We got some more packies over here. We might as well knock these dudes out as well. They're the type of creature that you would have a couple of around the area. Oh my God, there's a bunch. Okay. I don't know if I want like six. So I think I'm going to just tame maybe one more. Are they mad at me? I don't think that they're mad at me. Oh dude, that's a 180. All right. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, I'll drop in five for the moment. You'll probably need all of that. I think I see another Stego over here. Yep. Hello, Stego. Boom. Boom. Oh! Oh! And you're down. Cool. And you're a 114. Uh, let's just drop in five. Whatever. All right. Let's see. So, how many Ankies did we knock down? We knocked down, like, three Ankies, right? You're missing all your skin. Oh, my God. All right. We got that weird giraffe thing over here. We got our stego. Oh, he freaking woke up. Are you kidding me? You woke up before you ate all that food? You greedy son of a... You ate my kibble. Oh, no, it's still in there. What? How does that work? Okay. I mean... Okay. <laughs> I don't know why he... He kept the kibble in his inventory. I don't... I didn't know that could happen. That's new to me. That is very, very new. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let's see. We got Anki, Packy, Packy. There we go. Come on. Get in the stupid ball. There we go. Sweet. All right. And then we got another Packy over here. I love the feeling of the grass between my toes. 
This is great. Hopefully there's no glass in this grass right here. All right, sweet. Okay, we got, what else do we got? Uh, we got this trike. I gotta put him away too. Um, and then I think that's almost it. Once we tame up those creatures that are just knocked out over there. And that stupid freaking horse thing over there. Horse giraffe. Camel face. I don't know what to call him. He's like a weird baby Paraceratherium that's like just being malnourished. I mean, he's still pretty chubby for his age, but you know, he's he's still pretty malnourished to be a Paraceratherium. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's get on over here. We got we got a Pachy Rhino or a Pachy Cephalosaur and we got a, a Stego. And then I think that's it. I'm, I do want some Edmondosaurus, but I don't know if I want to put those into this pen. I feel like those maybe could go into the pen that we have the sauropods in because they're they're pretty big creatures all right uh you're gonna need probably one more i think there bud there you go enjoy um wow these creatures are greedy where is the snake i can hear it oh dude why this is the second time today oh there it is it's like right in front of me do you guys see that it's like right there and it's also mate boosted. That means that there's another one there. Oh, it's like right beside. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I see how it is, snakes. You want? They're not coming from me, are they? Okay, we're good. You want to play that game, huh? Huh? Let's play rock paper ultimasaur. All right, you guys ready? One, two, three. Ultimasaur. Okay, I win. <laughs> oh my god. All right, that's amazing. I love playing that game. Oh my god, you still got your broken leg. I think I need to leave him out for a little while. Yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like I'll end up throwing him out with his broken leg in, in like a time when that's not a good idea. Yeah, for sure. That's going to happen if, I, if I'm if i not careful. Um, let's, uh, where the hell's the packies? Did I knock them out over here? Is he's over here, right? Isn't he? Where did I knock him out? I thought it was like right over here. What? I thought I lo- What? <laughs> I'm confused. Where did I knock them? I can't even- I can't even think right now. I can't even see the other ones. Alright, let's hop on the Tyranodon and figure this one out. Um, the case of the missing, knocked out Pachycephalosaur. Starring Syntac and Cyanodon. Directed by Syntac. Produced by Cyanodon. Where is he? Dude, where, where, where did I go? Did I, like, enter, like, a parallel universe where I just somehow managed to find Pachycephalosaurus and then, you know, knock one out and leave the other two and just disappear forever? Like, where did they go? I'm so confused. Dude, do I need to, like, review that footage? Like, where did I go to tame those things? Was it not over this side? Maybe it was over this side. Although then, directly after that, I knocked out the Stego. Okay, I'm really confused right now. What happened? Where did I go? This makes no sense. You better be tamed. Oh, he's not tamed. Oh, you son of a... You are wasting so much of my kibble. You know what? You know what? I don't even want it anymore. I don't even want this ugly giraffe horse thing. This is what you get. This is what you get. <laughs> this is what you get. I'm going to ride on you, and then I'm going to look down with my weapon, which I apparently can do. Can I kill him like this? Oh, you can't. That would be amazing. All right, this is what you get, right in the butt. Boom, that's what you get. I mean, what else could I have done there? It was him or me. Okay, still two kibble left. Amazing. Um, where did I, I'm so confused about these packies though. Like, where did I go to tame that thing? I knocked it out, it was a 180. Or did I imagine all of that again? God, what is up with me? I keep imagining like Pachycephalosaur taming. Um, all right, well, I guess we're gonna leave that. <laughs> I'm gonna be very confused while editing this because like there was like three of them right uh you know what i'm just let's stop talking about it it didn't happen it was all in my head or did it happen uh, you know what let's let's head on in here anyway this is our area with our non-stupid draft horse um i think it's pretty cool uh i didn't want to do like i didn't want to overdo it with the redwoods trees i put one gigantic one a couple of the smaller ones and then quite a few of these ones right here um, the little kind of pine trees or whatever. Is that what they're called? I can't remember. Uh, I got a bunch of bushes around the place as well. Again, I didn't really want to, like, overdo the area. Um, but when you're coming in here on your gyro balls, you won't really be, like, doing, like, a track all the way around it, considering the rocks, and I didn't want to break any of those. Um, 
so this one's a little bit different from like the Dillo one. It's not like one big track. You just kind of come in, take a little lap, uh, check out the giant pack of galleys that sticks together. It's really strange how they just do that. Um, and then, you know, you're good. And then you can head on back out. What is that out there? What is that? Okay. Okay. It's an Apatosaurus. I apparently had been calling it Alpatosaurus for so long. Um, I didn't know that it wasn't called that. So, yeah. I will tell you an excuse right now. I am dyslexic. Um, <laughs> all right, sweet. Uh, let's see. So we got some Ankies here. Let's drop out the Ankies. Uh, where do I even want to put them? Let's like put them inside of this little area here. You know what? No, if I drop them out of cryo or not cryo soul thingies in there, if I drop them out of those inside of that area, they're not going to be uh, dino leashed or whatever. So I got to wait and uh, oh my God, just give me the Ankies. There we go, sweet. I gotta wait and uh, and like whistle them in, them in, or or else turn off the leash and turn it back on, which seems like a big pain. So, we'll just whistle them in. Come on, boys. You two, there we go. Come on. All right, let's uh, bring you guys in here. Hey, say hello to the parasaur. You guys are gonna be best friends now. How many? I think we got one male, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's uh, cut off his giblets. I brought my extra large scissors. Uh, let's neuter him. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. I know it hurts, buddy. I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't had that happen to me, but I mean, I can imagine that it would definitely hurt. And I have nightmares about that sometimes, especially after watching that movie Teeth. Uh, all right. Well, let's... <laughs> that's a horrible movie. Don't watch that if you're a dude. Please. I'm, I'm telling you right now, don't watch it. <laughs> it's not okay. All right. We got Stegos here. Um, that's a horrible movie. Why did I even think about that? Uh, let's bring the Stegos. What are you doing? You're outside the little circle and there's a tech one over there that I didn't kill somehow. All right, cool. Um, yeah, let's just get all these guys into, into this big ring over here. Uh, that is a trike. Okay. Yeah. I forgot that I tamed a trike for some reason and boom. Let's get you guys all on follow. Although first, uh, we got to cut off his, um, his giblets. Let's see. Come on. There we go. Okay. It's completely sawed off. That took a while. And you as well, buddy. <laughs> you had to watch him and that has to happen to you. Don't look at me like that, Trike. I will do it to you. Wait, what are you? You are a male. I Don't look at me like that, okay? <laughs> Let's get them on in here then. Come on, everybody. Giant dino train into the Redwoods area. Come on. There we go, giant Trike dude. All right. Uh, let us put you on Wanda and follow. Just enjoy. Go on, check the place out. See if you like it. Remember to rate us five stars on... I can't think of a good joke for that. I was going to say, like, some sort of, like, word between, like, Yelp and, like, Jurassic, but I can't, no. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, ooh, okay, there we go. Boom. All right. So all of our dinosaurs are in here now. It's pretty packed, which is what I want, really. Um, it's a herbivore area. You know, it's got to have just tons and tons of creatures in here. And um, I think I did a good job so far. We definitely need more trikes, though, but I'll tame those up on another stage. Uh, let's go ahead and just ride the gyro ball in here just a little bit towards the end. I'm just going to grab it and run it on over. Uh, let's close that. Sweet. Um, and I will go ahead and actually get myself a... Uh, like a little gyro station out here at some point. I might actually just make like a little center place where you can just get a bunch of these. I think that would be kind of cool. Like in, you know, in cities and stuff where you can find just a ton of bikes, except it's gyro balls. Um, so yeah, we've got uh, the wild, um, except definitely not wild. We've got the Xenoceratops and its natural habitat right here. And then on over here, we've got another Xenoceratops and then another one over there. Uh, let's see. We've got a giant pack of galleys right here. My god, they are all just like lining up right here. I don't even know what this is. It's like they're waiting for me to hand out roses and then one of them has to leave or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that though. Like, wait, what are they doing? <laughs> we got an Anki there. there. I can't even speak. We got an Anki right there though. Um, He's just chilling around. I like the way that they're moving around quite a lot. Did that other Anki get out? Wait, what? You just left the circle. I saw you do that. How did you do that? Is there too many in it? I mean, it is the S plus one. Oh, yeah, no, there's there's too many, apparently. That's fine. I'll just put, like, turrets or something around the area. We'll see. 
I mean, to be honest, it is quite a large pen, so it might be okay if some of them come out of the dino leashes. Because uh, they'd have to be walking right into a wall when the area loads in for them to phase through and leave. And if I lose one or two, I'm sure it's probably fine. Uh, let's see. So then we've got our, our trike dude and a couple parasaurs over here. Amazing. we got a stego just chilling in the rocks right there, gathering up some metal. Um, and then we've got a parasaur over here who definitely wants to leave this area. Look at him. He's just potting his escape right there. I don't even know. Uh, but yeah, this is awesome, actually. I really do like this. Very, very nice. I could probably have added in a couple more rocks and stuff, but herbivores, I generally kind of... I don't think that they'd really be hanging out in, like, caves and stuff like that. So I probably could have made a couple little caves out of some rocks, like I did with the uh, Dilophosaur... And, or we'll just call it the Alophosaur pen, because it's got the Dilophosaur, Monolophosaur, and, and the other one. So yeah, um... Yeah, all those dudes are just chilling in there, and they have, like, a little cave. But herbivores probably would sleep out in, like, fields and little forests and stuff like that. So, probably doesn't make sense to give them a little cave. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Actually, you know what? I wanted to ride him for a second. Uh, that's going to be it for today. Oh, my God. You guys hear that beeping? You want to know what that is? That is my external power supply telling me that I am over the 100% load. And, uh... I gotta go ahead and open up my PC case. This has been happening recently because I haven't cleaned my PC in a long time. I guess I gotta go ahead and do that at some point. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. If you guys have any more suggestions for the herbivore pen, let me know. And um, let me know if there's any other creatures that you'd want to see in here. Um, probably more trikes, a couple more stagos, uh, probably good on the Yankees. And mm, I don't know what else is really good. Probably not something too small. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Catch you in the next one.